You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. A large explosion was heard near the city centre of Iran's Natanz nuclear site on Saturday. Officials have explained the noise to be an air defence test. They say a missile was fired into the sky to test air defence responses to any potential threats. In order to test infield readiness, one of the missile's defense system of the Natanz region was tested and this test was made to evaluate the systems placed in the region. And these tests take place in a safe space and with the coordination of the entire defense system. There is no cause for concern. Iran officials have confirmed that the nuclear site has fired a missile to test a rapid reaction force over Natanz. Army spokesman Shaheen Takihani has made an immediate announcement that there is no cause for concern. The Islamic Republic says its nuclear ambitions are peaceful. In April, Iran has accused ARCFO Israel of sabotaging its key Natanz nuclear site and has vowed revenge for an attack that appeared to be the latest episode in a long-running covert war. Israeli media outlets have quoted unnamed intelligence sources as saying the country's Mossad spy service has carried out a successful sabotage operation at the underground Natanz complex, potentially setting back enrichment work there by months. But Israel has not formally commented on the incident. Israel has opposed the original 2015 Iran nuclear accord with world powers, which aimed to curb Iran's nuclear program in return for lifting sanctions against Tehran as too limited in scope and duration. Israeli leaders have long threatened military action against Iran if they deem diplomacy a dead end for denying its nuclear weaponry. In direct talks between Iran and the United States on salvaging the 2015 Iran nuclear deal adjourned on Friday and will resume in the middle of next week, the talks coordinator and China top envoy to the negotiations has confirmed. China's envoy Wang Kun says the talks would resume midweek. The talks coordinator, European Union official Enrique Mora, has also confirmed about the meeting retrieving the 2015 Iran nuclear deal.